Tonight, the elite Navy SEALs who took down Osama bin Laden are back on U.S. soil at Andrews Air Force Base. And our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, tells us now about a secret weapon they may have used to change history in just 40 minutes. The last act of the Navy SEAL team before they left the bin Laden compound was to blow up the damaged helicopter that had to be left behind, setting off a huge fire. And now we know why that was so important. Aviation analysts say the remnants of the aircraft reveal they were part of one of the U.S. military's most closely guarded secrets, a stealth Black Hawk helicopter whose existence was only rumored that had never been seen in public before. This is the first time that we've seen an operational a stealth helicopter. The analysts say photos that emerged on the internet revealed this was no ordinary helicopter. But one of the things that really stands out is they have a little disc over the rotors, which is really designed both to baffle the sound and to deny radar signature. Neighbors in Abbottabad told ABC News they did not hear the helicopter Sunday night until they were directly overhead. This is what a standard Black Hawk helicopter sounds like. This is the sound of an earlier experimental version of a stealth helicopter. There would be a vague sound. It might be the sound of a helicopter that was going in the opposite direction. One key to the chopper's stealth nature is a secret, heavily coated, fabric-like material, which children in the neighborhood were seen collecting. There are probably people in the Pentagon tonight who are very concerned that pieces of the helicopter may be even now on their way to China, because we know China is trying to make stealth aircraft. The Chinese military is known to have close relationships with the Pakistani military. And the remaining large pieces of the secret U.S. helicopter hidden under a tarp were trucked away by Pakistani officials Tuesday to an unknown destination. Residents there also told ABC News that just before the helicopters arrived, all electricity and cell phone service was knocked out and then came back on right after the choppers left. A senior Pentagon official said today he would absolutely not comment on what the analysts are saying in our report.